Welcome to Chronically Beautiful, where we are trying our best to live an awesome life, even though we probably don't feel like it. Today is one of my favorite days of the month. It is dun da da dun Ipsy, Ipsy Day! So we are going to do my first Ipsy unboxing. So. Before we jump into this, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And of course, as always, don't forget to ring the bell so that you'll be notified of all my future uploads. Thanks again for coming. Let's dive in. All right, so it is February. Today was yet another snow day, cold day, ice day thing here in Michigan. It was the 10th day off I have had since January 7th when we went back to school, which is wild. Um, oh my gosh, this is so cute. Little Valentine's Day, little lips, love it. So cute. Hmm, I wonder what's in it. Let's do a guess, okay. Some kind of lotion, some kind of like lip product it feels like. Ooh, this feels like a brush, maybe and something in a box. I don't know, let's just dive in. So yeah, we had another day off today and my husband had a day off as well, which was pretty cool. So we did our usual snow day activities, which was um, to go to lunch and do a little shopping and I may do a haul of that shopping trove. Okay. Of course, adorable bag, absolutely love it. Okay. The first item we have is the Sand and Sky Australian Pink Clay Flash Perfection Exfoliating Treatment Mattify and Invigorate. So this is the one that felt like a lip thing to me, so wrong. Let's read up on this guy. This brand's founders, they're sisters. Hi sisters! Share a passion for introducing unique Australian botanicals into skincare. This gentle exfoliator is made with an Australian pink clay which detoxifies skin, tightens up pores, and majorly boosts your glow. Plus, it absorbs excess oils to nix shine. So that's interesting. I don't know how I feel about skin. I mean, I love skincare, don't get me wrong, but I feel like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I really love the makeup, so we'll see. This looks kind of fun. It's good for traveling, I guess. Ooh, I was right. It is a brush. Ooh, oh my gosh. I am so excited that it is a small fluffy brush for the crease. I have been absolutely wanting a small crease brush so that I could, you know, do more detail in there. And that's so funny that that's exactly what I got this month because that is what I have been looking for everywhere. This is a Luxie brush and it is this beautiful pink color. It, it is the Luxie 243 Precision Blending, which again, exactly what I have been looking for, a precision blending brush. I'm really psyched about this. It's firm enough, but also soft. Let's read what it says. Luxie's mastered the art of high quality vegan and cruelty free brushes. This one has a tapered brush head that fits right into the contours of your eye, perfect for adding a subtle smoky effect or definition to your eye looks. Really psyched about this. Like, wow, exactly what I was hoping for. Thank you, Ipsy. 10 bucks alone for this, I would have been happy to spend. Yes. Next item. Let's go with this. This is the Hanalei Lip Treatment in Peach Pink. And it is teeny tiny. Made in Hawaii by a team of beauty chemists, this peachy pink balm hydrates and rejuvenates skin with kukui oil, a fave Hawaiian nut rich in vitamins A, C, and E, and essential fatty acids. Apply on bare lips for a flush of color. Swipe on before matte color so they go on smooth. Mix with your fave lipstick to make a hydrating stain. Well, that sounds really interesting. Eight. Let's go to this guy next. This is a tiny little MAC product, the Strobe Cream. So that's fun. So it's kind of a liquid highlighter situation. And we'll just do a little blob on there. It's all cute and little. All right, so it is, oh, I should probably figure out a way to do some like swatches. Interesting, you definitely can't see that. It's very, very subtle. 
like almost just as like a little bit of luminosity, but not anything like a, what a strobing product would typically be in my opinion or experience. Max celebrates individuality for all ages, races, and sexes. Love. This radiance boosting formula has iridescent particles that reflect light for an even toned glow, plus vitamins and antioxidants, and green tea nourish your skin from within. Wear this baby three ways. Blend it onto your face, before makeup, mix with foundation, or dab it on over foundation for subtle highlights. So, um, yeah, basically a liquid highlighter, I think, but it is very, 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 very subtle. So, cool. So our final product is a nail polish. It is a PS Cosmaceutical Infused Nail Lacquer in the shade... I don't know. It's a beautiful shade. Yeah, I, I have no idea. Does it say it on the box? Orchid. It is in the shade Orchid. It is a beautiful purpley orchid color. Will this work? This is like not helping at all. But it is really pretty. I would swatch it, but I just, I'm rocking my Valentine's red nails right now. So there we go. And about this product, Dream by PS Cosmeceutical Nail Polish in Orchid. Founded by a pair of doctors, this brand's all about good for you nail products. This cool toned purple is made with grapeseed oil, a natural antifungal, to help keep your nails healthy. I don't know about you, but when I'm purchasing nail polish, the first thing I don't want to hear about is fungus. Not cute. Um, and then it tells you how to put on nail polish, but I'm pretty sure I got that. So that is this month's Ipsy. I think my favorite, definitely my favorite thing is this brush by Luxie. And then my second favorite thing is the bag itself because it is so stinking cute. Love, love, love. All right, guys. So that was my Ipsy unboxing. Hopefully if you haven't gotten yours yet, you can see what's in here, or if you were thinking about doing Ipsy in the future, this might give you a good idea of the kind of things to expect. It seems like I get some kind of skincare, some kind of lip thing, and then it sort of alternates between like mascara and nail polish. There's, there's been, I think I've gotten three or four brushes. I think there's only one month that I haven't gotten a brush, which is cool because I love brushes. Um, the little bags are super handy. I never tire of tiny little bags because I put all kinds of crazy stuff in my purse with them. Um, yeah. Life is good with Ipsy. Love it. I definitely prefer the makeup and brushes and things like that to the skincare um, because I feel like even with a small little size of makeup you could still use it uh, quite a bit but with the small little skincare you only get a couple of uses out of a little tiny thing like this so like I said I use it for travel but beyond that um, I don't know, it's just too small. That's what she said! <laughs> Okay guys, thanks for joining me today on this adventure. Sorry, I, hope I think it's worth the 10 bucks, but you'll have to decide that for yourself. Thanks again, and again, please don't forget to subscribe. Have an amazing day. Take care of you.